So another weekend and more stolen cars here in the tri-state, this time in Forest Park. Local 12's Christian Hauser is here with the latest on these thefts here in the tri-state. And Christian, what's being done to stop this happening in the future? Yeah, Megan and Adam, unfortunately, this is an all too familiar refrain. Forest Park police tell me that three vehicles were stolen and thieves attempted to steal two, maybe even three more, but they couldn't get away with them. Now, they were all Kia or Hyundai models, so if you own one of those, here are some of the things you can do to try to make your vehicle less enticing to thieves. Police say at least some of the vehicles were stolen from the Mills Run apartment complex in Kensington Park. These are just the latest in the thousands of vehicles stolen, specifically Kias and Hyundais. Matt Moore with the Highway Loss Data Institute says over the last 20 years, car thefts were actually trending down. That is until the second half of 2020, when stolen vehicles started to skyrocket. The vehicles that were being targeted are vehicles that don't have standard anti-theft devices, standard immobilizers. And we've come to understand that social media has played a role in this. Apparently, uh, you can find information on social media about how to steal these vehicles. Moore says in 2015, more than 90% of vehicles had an immobilizer. In that same year, only about a quarter of Hyundais and Kias were built with one. The two manufacturers are working to stop these crooks before they steal the vehicles. They're working to provide steering wheel locks to some owners who are in high-risk areas. Given that the, the folks who are, are likely to be stealing these vehicles are amateurs, it's possible that that theft, that anti-theft club steering wheel lock might be enough of a deterrent to cause them to just move on down the line and look for a comparable vehicle that doesn't have that device. Hyundai is selling glass break sensor security kits designed to prevent thieves from breaking in. The kits are available for installation at an authorized dealer and cost around $170 plus the installation. Both automakers are developing software to further secure the targeted vehicles, but that's not expected to be ready until sometime next year. Now, Matt Moore tells me that one of the things you ought to consider doing is getting comprehensive insurance on your Kia or your Hyundai. He says, really, these, these fixes aren't going to be quick and they're not guaranteed to work. So basically having that comprehensive insurance will at least cover the cost of a stolen vehicle if, uh, if the worst does happen to you. Now, the good news here is that at least two of those three stolen vehicles in Forest Park, they have been recovered. But you saw some of the pictures there, some of the damage that can be done to them. Now, the other ones that the crew attempted to steal had their steering steering columns ripped out and that could mean a thousand dollars maybe more in damage depending on what was done and sadly this trend doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon so prevention is probably your best option Megan back to you good advice Christian and all of this information is on a website local 12.com for the quickest way to get there download that local 12 news app just look for the stolen car article